Hello. Hey, what's up? Mackenzie, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm great. Since Drag World UK 2019, how has it been? Um, it's been good. I mean, first off, I had such an incredible time at Drag World because there's such an incredible sense of community um, at that convention because it's, you know, we're surrounded by people that all appreciate drag and are enthusiastic about it and what we do. So um, I felt really encouraged and motivated at Motor Drive World. So I came home, finished up working on uh, new music, um, scheduled some more uh, dates to go to World of Wonder and film uh, our series ASMR Queens. Two weeks ago, Drag World UK, first year you attended. So your highlights of Drag World UK? Um, well, the biggest highlight was the people, uh, the guests that attended, the, the patrons, the fans, uh, because they give me so much life. They give me so much energy. And if I'm ever unsure about what I'm doing, they solidify how I feel um, and motivate me to you know, reach even further. So I just, I had a great time taking photos with people and making new friends, uh, connecting with friends that I've met by, uh, through touring. So it was, a, it was a great experience. There was uh, two different girls there, one from Finland and one from the UK that have tattoos of me on their leg. And so I got to get photos with those and um, how do you feel when somebody does come up to you at a meet and greet and shows you a bit of flesh with your name tattooed on it or a picture of you tattooed on it? Um, it's the ultimate honor, you know, that somebody is inspired by what I'm doing and it's making a difference in their life that is, that they feel is so profound that they want to, you know, remember that yeah. forever. So I, I think that that's the ultimate um, compliment and um, I think it's dope as fuck. Yeah, and I think it's important as drag queens that we follow our heart, we follow our dreams, but that we don't follow trends, we set them and hopefully that inspires other people to do the same. You signed as a male model to an agency yeah. and yeah. you asked for them to uh, sign you as a drag artist due to their oh. The, the amount of people on their books, they were quite conservative. And they said no. So following this decision, you decided to go to your competitor and ask them to sign you as both a drag artist and as a male model. Yeah, uh, you know, and it did make me sad because I really valued that agency that I was originally signed with and they got me uh, multiple magazine covers here in Las Vegas of uh, big publications and I had a great relationship with them and although they did support me doing drag um, and one of the agents had even come to my my very first show in Vegas as Nebraska but um, this is a conservative modeling market and they they couldn't see a bigger picture or how it could fit with their agency. And that made me very sad because I wanted to continue working with them. Yeah. But I also can't let somebody tell me no yeah. uh, when it's something that I feel so passionately about. And I have bigger dreams than just appearing on magazine covers as a male model. Yeah. You know, I think that drag queens are like this new breed of celebrity as far as music goes and, and acting and, and modeling. And there's a new type of supermodel, and it's a person who can model as both a, as a male and female. Yeah. You know, and sometimes for things that aren't normal, yeah. um, are progressive, it's hard for people to make changes, especially within their business practices. And drag, even though it's so, it's having its moment right now, and it's, you know, m more mainstream than it's ever been. There's still, there's still a lot of pushback from yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. It's up to us as 
the queens to kick down those doors and continue to set a positive example of what yeah. we're capable of, the numbers that we can pull in, so that more and more people adapt, you know, yeah. to us being a the industry. Would any UK artists that inspired you, you were in awe of, or you got on well with? I love the UK drag scene, and I do have to say that the UK, a lot of the UK drag queens have some of the best drag names I've ever heard of, especially of Donna Trump. In regards to Drag World 2020, will you be returning? Uh, I will absolutely return if given the chance. Yeah. Yes. What's going on with your music? Anything going on? Any new releases dropping? Um, last year we released my my first two songs, Bitch Please and Sexy, and uh, that was in conjunction with Velo, who produces all the music, he sings, raps, um, he's been creating music uh, for a while now and is an incredible artist. Um, and Derek, Derek is on the songs as well. So because of the success of those two songs, uh, we decided to do more together. So we have three more songs coming out before the end of the year. Agworld 2020. What would you like to see change? I actually was pleasantly surprised with Drag World because it exceeded my expectations. The staff was so polite and on their A-game. Um, and the way that they had the convention center set up, I thought made a lot of sense. Um, and I thought that we could probably adopt some of those ideas at our own conventions here in uh, the States. Okay. I think that uh, if we were to do it again, I think that it would be great for Derek and I, since we are together, to have our booths next to each other. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a one-stop shop, and then people can come into our double booth okay. together and, you know, meet both of us and take the pictures and buy stuff. and. I think it just makes more sense to have us together. And do you so reckon would you, would, you would request to perform at Dragwell? Um, I mean, possibly, if there's an opportunity to. Okay. I'm open to it. Any plans to return to the, to the UK prior to Dragwell? Any touring, any promotions? We're uh, working on dates right now as we speak. Um, we just set up... Uh, we've been setting up dates in the States. Um, we've also set up some Canada dates and UK is next on our list. Right. Well, what are we to expect next from Nebraska? Any exclusive information? That's the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing is uh, that I'll have new music coming out around the end of the year um, yeah. with music videos as well uh, to be released consecutively. And, um, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with World of Wonder and Derek with our ASMR series. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with ASMR, it's automated sensory meridian response and it's basically whispering and sounds so the mic is turned up really hot and we make sounds and we're there to relax and soothe your day okay uh and every episode we have a special guest um and i'm very excited for some of the guests we have coming up but previously we had, actually you know, before you go on to that can you name any of the guests that like um, I can't name any of the guests that we have coming up because uh, it's, you know, with World of Wonder, but okay. um, we have had Katie Rost, who is from the Real Housewives franchise, Alexandra Ship, who played Storm in X-Men, um, oh, okay. Aaliyah in the movie, she's an actual movie star. Okay. So we do have drag queens as guests, but then we also kind of break the barrier and bring in um, celebrities that Derek and I have worked with or met uh, through our travels onto the show as well. What's your plans for the rest of the weekend? Oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to Palm Springs. I perform um, for the first time ever in Palm Springs, which yeah. is about four hours from Las Vegas. It's in between Las Vegas and Los Angeles um, and San Diego. I'll let you go. It was great chatting to you. I will be keeping an eye out on your social media sites and for your music dropping this year. Um, and I'm going to be pushing it forward to get you and Derek at Drag World UK 2020. It really needs to push the boundaries even more to what it did this year. 
I love that. And I, I think that, you know, it's an evolution and it's continue it's going to continue to get better yeah. and bigger. So that's what drag is that's what drag is doing. Yeah. It's evolving and it's growing and it's taking over. Uh, but I do want to say that I think that it's important as our community continues to grow that we bring up the people um, that are still struggling for their equal rights. Yeah. So it's important that as drag queens or gay men or lesbians that we're helping our trans community right now because uh, they are in need of us. Yeah. Because there are people attacking their ability to work or yeah. serve in their military and um, I just want to be very clear that we support our trans yeah. community and we are with them. It was lovely speaking to you. I'm going to be keeping an eye out on your social media sites and for the music, like I said, dropping this autumn and winter. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for being so sweet. I appreciate it.